2017 Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV First Look, the UK's best-selling hybrid is coming to America this summer in its plug-in form. Few details are available on the US specification model, but Mitsubishi showed us a Yank version prototype at a January event in Detroit, and judging by what we saw, what we could glean from the US public relations staff, and by perusing the UK specs, it looks to be a pretty interesting piece of kit. For starters, it's a true series-slash-parallel hybrid, meaning that the front the electric motors provide direct drive to the wheels with no ratio-altering transmission, so the engine can only connect to the wheels at speeds that wouldn't bog it through whatever final drive ratio is at work. UK spec models fit 280 horsepower electric motors and a 119 horsepower 2.0 liter four cylinder, a combo good for a leisurely 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 11.0 seconds and a top speed of 106 miles per hour. They even rate it to tow 1,650 pounds over there. For starters, it's a true series-slash-parallel hybrid, meaning that the front and rear electric motors provide primary motivation and are the only source of propulsion away from a stop. When the plug-in battery is depleted, the engine generates electricity for the motors. At higher speeds, when the driver calls for full power or when climbing a steep grade, the engine can turn the wheels directly, contributing its power more efficiently. UK models get a 12 kilowatt hour 300 volt battery that basically consumes the space where the third row seat lies, so there is no compromise at all to the second row passenger space or the cargo area behind that seat. We're told to expect an official EPA battery only range of around 30 miles. Fully charging the battery is said to take 3.5 hours using 16 amp, 240 volt service. A quick charge time to 80% is quoted at 30 minutes, but the latter undoubtedly relies on a CHIAMO DC fast charge protocol. At the press of a button, you can ask the onboard engine to work extra hard and top up the battery, a good idea if you're driving from the countryside into London, where EVs enjoy a break on congestion charges. Another unique selling point. Apparently, the vehicle can be used as an emergency power generator, and it is said to be capable of powering a typical suburban house for a week on a full tank of gas. Of course, that may be a UK house, with smaller appliances and TVs.